All right, check this out here. Put on the volume for me. All right. What are you saying, Jerry? Three, three people who weren't alive anymore because of me. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. I feel terrible about it, and I, I really need your help right now. All right, I think that works pretty well. But you're going. You are mentioning something about his arms. Hmm. Not too bad, though. Yeah, I think all the beats are there. I mean, so my question is, in what state you're in? What are you saying, Jerry? Like, that that beginning seems already a bit more polished, but you're getting into a heavy IK arms here. But the rotation kind of goes counter to what the body's moving, uh, doing, let's say, elbow movement. That, you know, like you're going from upper view with like forearm and wrist, and then you're suddenly ending it with kind of like that. It's like a crazy kink as opposed to actually taking out your wrists this way or minimizing the amount of movement. Even that here, see all that stuff here. It's kind of the rotation is kind of the same, and this is moving more. It just feels very IK. I'm just curious, you know, where you think you're at. If that's like you're totally aware of this, and that's something else you're going to do. Uh, I could probably take out that arm and bring it maybe around here, the hand, I mean, sorry. And then bring in your arm a tiny bit, so you have, you have a little bit of a bend. Like right now, the hand is kind of aligned with the arm and the silhouette's kind of muddled. What are you saying, Jerry? Three, three people. <laughs> that feels a bit too repetitive. You can see how the elbow and shoulder and stuff like that is hitting linear keys and it's going up and down in the same direction, there are no arcs in it. Um, you know, it's like there's, there's no offset. I'm just curious where you're at. Because um, I think overall everything is working well in terms of what you're going to do and it's great to see this, it's a good line, you see the face. It's just, you know, now you got to go and get rid of all the technical problems there. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. You know, like intersections through there, that hand going up feels very IK, there's no rotation change there. Contact on fingers, there's lots of uh, popping it seems like through here, like direction changes and pops and stuff. And this very IK, just elbow movement, but then the wrist is not doing much. Intersections, this feels a bit too pose to pose, like everything's moving at once, the elbow and the hand going up. I feel terrible about it. You know, intersections of arms. And I, I really need... The body feels like it's very drifty. Watch his back. And I, you know, I really need your help down. Right Same thing here, kind of drifty. Some crazy elbows going through the ground or something here at the table. So I don't know. It's curious. Um, so I don't know if that's... Uh, there's obvious points and you just, you know, you know all this and you're submitting just the latest that you have, but you're going to do, you know what to do. I'm just curious. Or if this is all totally new to you and, uh, you know, you need more direction, how to fix technical stuff. So let me know. Which I don't... I thought that, you know, you're probably all aware of everything I just said, given how good this looks. So it's cool. Watch out that you don't have, like, separate finger moves without a wrist move. This feels very isolated. And this feels like it's just the arm moving, so there's no rotation in the wrist. So watch out that as you start this, you can start rotating the wrist uh, maybe up a bit and coming this way. And then see how we're ending, easing in and then we cut. So you want to you wanna cut on like frame 139, that you're in full movement and not slowing down, cutting into this. That's weird. That's a weird cut. Wait, I thought we had something like this and we're staying on that frame? I'm very confused about this here. Wasn't the idea doing this? That's cool. It's like you want to be here. To me, it feels like this would be great if you're like this and they're turning. But when they're turning, they're still this size. Turn, we're still close. We don't go away. 
So then you can still have this, and through all of this, you can see close up of his reaction, and there would be a lot of left and right, the head thrashing. And then here, imagine we are closer, right? And then he can go back. I thought we talked about this one, or I mentioned something, and then I'm not sure if you want to do it or not, but you go back, and there's some blood coming out as he goes back, and then comes back forward, and you can bite back into on our side so the face is not hidden, and then we cut out. So I'm not quite sure, and I don't see anything in your mail. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this. It's just cutting-wise, it's weird because you also have a lot of movement, and then we cut to nothing going on, neither in camera nor in character. Um, and that uh, it's not enough of a difference. Like the height is the same. It's just a, sl a rotation change, so it feels like a time jump. It's like a weird pop in the cut. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.